All right, here we go, guys. Here's our next game. Did I hit the match start? There we go. All right, this is uh, Your Mom by KS versus the Z23 Enjoyers. And we have, once again, Salem and San Martin. So they are very happy with that combination of ships. And you can see, same build we saw last time. Remember, this is not a um, an event where teams or players get press accounts. So they are using captains that they have available to either spec up for this special event or they're using the captains that they would normally use anyways. So we've got God Sniper in the Salem in a survivability gun build Salem, sure. And then, uh, oh, with, with heavy AP even, interesting. And then we've got our Napoli. Now, I like that the Napoli is running um, main battery reload in slot 6. I, I think that's just more effective than the secondaries, frankly. But all the torpedo skills feels bad. I would rather see survivability expert. Um, I don't know what else. Uh, maybe last stand? Anyway. It's alright. Remember, people are using... Um, the stuff that they would normally have, so. So this is um, Warrior's Path. It's Brawl setup. It's always tough because you've got your, your cap. You absolutely need to send an asset into the island um, that covers A and B, and that's exactly what's happening right here. As we have some hot Salem on Salem action. I'm curious about the decision by the San Martin to stay so far back. Now being forced to turn out because of this Napoli positioning. I'm surprised he's not farming the Napoli because Napoli's broadsiding him. And Nelson didn't go into the island. Instead, he turned left. This is kind of a feels bad because, well... Napoli appears. Alright, well. Now it comes down to can the Salem find the broadside citadel of the Napoli and not take Napoli torpedoes? I don't think this is gonna happen, guys. I think this is a I think this is a fail. He's zooming in, he should be zoomed out when he's firing. Right there, finally hits the citadels. Oh wait, the Napoli messes up the torps and the Salem gets the kill! Oh, Oh, somebody take a clip of that, please. As the Salem gets citadeled in turn by RFG Salem and down. So now it's Salem versus San Martin, but the Salem God Sniper is much closer. He's going to get B. He might get A as well, and if that happens, that's a huge point gain. Radar goes up by the San Martin to detect where the Salem is. Salem counters with his own little T-Rex radar. And with that, the God Sniper caps both A and B for free. Which means the initiative is up to Aegis Wings' San Martin. Can he dumpster God Sniper's Salem? And God Sniper going broadside to the San Martin. What is this? He's trying to go in a kiting weight position, but he's going to pay a lot in Citadels for this. Oh, God. So many Citadels. Super heal going, but it's Citadel after Citadel after Citadel. How many Super Heals is there? Even that was a Citadel. Oh, my goodness. An American Cruiser AP Strunk, guys. And with that, Aegis Wings is just going to bully the Salem off of this cap. I don't know that there's a way in for God Sniper. I really feel like if God Sniper had gone bow in and just went for a drive-by, an all-or-nothing drive-by, getting those Citadel hits, he would have won this game. But instead, he game returned. And now he's being shot in the butt by Aegis, who's flexing on him by using the funny button. Look at those... Look at those searchlights on. That means he's flexing. He's using the consumable reload option. And there it is. Horn of winning right up the butt. Aegis, win, Aegis wings with the kill. 
might even ram him in the butt, depending on... Nope. And there's the end of our battle. Congratulations to your mom by KS.